My professional interest is in understanding the human evolutionary past. And specifically, I want to understand how many species of extinct relatives are really out there among the fossils that we know in the fossil record. And I want to know how they are all related uh, to each other or were all related to each other. And in order to do that, there is many, many ancillary areas of knowledge that have to be brought to bear. And one of the things that we do in this lab here is to recreate ancient hominids as, as living beings. We try to reconstruct them as they were in life. Different areas of science have different implications for uh, the ethical realm. And the sciences that most impinge on ethical questions tend to be the sciences that depend more on the technology and that enable technologies to be developed, enable humans to have new ways of interacting with the world. My own area of uh, evolutionary biology doesn't really impact uh, the, uh, the, the human experience in that kind of a way. It doesn't affect people's daily lives. What it does is to affect people's larger view of themselves and their place in nature. I think it's very important to bear in mind that religious knowledge and uh, scientific knowledge are two entirely different domains of knowledge. They're trying to do different things, they're trying to answer different questions and that is why it's very important to sort of keep them in separate compartments of the mind and to realize that they are answering to different parts of the human need to know. My field of uh, paleobiology and uh, evolutionary biology is not one that really demands a huge amount of philosophical introspection but it involves understanding the place of uh, humans in nature and understanding exactly how we're integrated into the natural world. And this is an enormously large part of understanding who we are ourselves.